says anything we want her to. Just like <laughs> Boomer. Boomer just lays down now. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Good morning everybody. Good morning everyone. Why are you making fun of me already? Why not? I just got out of bed. Leave it alone. Jeez. Pick on me. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Stick up for me. Meow. <laughs> so you're not petting enough. There you go. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do today. Right now, Kevin's going to cook us up a uh, gourmet pizza. Gourmet. Uh... Yeah. Oh, maybe that's what we could do today. What's that? Also, is your uh, beer bread. We could probably do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it, man. That's what we should do. Uh -huh. So, I don't know what we're going to do. I left my sling on again all night. What, <coughs> did you burn your arm or something? Where? Yeah, I've burnt my arm. On what? The stove. Cooking? Yeah. What? Pizza. I'm telling <laughs> you guys. You guys all think that I'm the loud, I'm the crazy one. Yes. I'm the pro accident prone one. Yes. Kevin's loud. He's crazy. He burned his arm. Nobody says anything about that. Well, nobody knows I did it. Well, I just told everybody. See? See? He's not the perfect one. Well, everybody knows I'm accident prone. Because I'm the only one in the family who's missing parts. That's right. See? See? I'm missing parts up here. <laughs> well, at least they're loose. <laughs> We find marbles all over the house. I don't have marbles. I have screw loose, <laughs> yeah. screw, loose screws. <laughs> hey, Freckles! Is he going, oh, i got to get up now. Uh. Oh, that was it. That was exercise for the day. Okay, so I have to go to the store yet again. It seems like all I do anymore. Um, but I'm going to be able to go to Home Depot and get some more mastic for the, the um, tiles. So I'll be able to do some more tiling tomorrow. It looks like somebody's having a party. Some cars parked everywhere. Uh, it's about 88 degrees and it's a really a pretty day and it's still too hot for Val <laughs> so but I'm head on my way to uh, Home Depot that's where I'm going to be going right now okay so we were told that we could actually see the Norconian from the back side which is on the prisoner prison prison side so we're going to take a little drive again and see uh, what we can see from the um, prison side. So I guess I better go get dressed. So yes, you better go get dressed. Because we're going to take you guys out today. And hopefully they won't keep us at the prison. <laughs> or the naval base. Well, it's actually the naval base is on the other side from the prison. Well, hopefully they don't keep us, period. <laughs> Looney bin? All right, this is Norco Drive. been up this way. Yeah, oh, this is a nice hill too. That's the hill I'm talking about. Oh, we're gonna go up Beacon Hill, see what happens. <laughs> there it is. That's the Narconian. What one? 
big one on the top. So it's the one way up there on the top? Right. Welcome to uh, the penitentiary. So how are people getting in there to clean this up? As far as I know, nobody gets in there. And this is all part of the penitentiary? Oh yeah. You see the double rows of razor wire? You got it in the towers? That's the penitentiary. It's the one on top. Very top. down the road on this side so I can get a better view. But this is all penitentiary. Can you try and go slow? That way up on the mountain, that tallest peak is the Narconian. And this is all penitentiary. All the way around it. So, now the Marconian is back there. This is all baby warfare up here. <laughs> Do you want to get a, commit a crime to go in there so we can investigate? <laughs> well, I heard it was the women's section. They oh, had the, the women in the, in the hotel and the men in the barracks is all around. So then I guess I have to commit a crime to go to in there you. to investigate. But I think the place has been more or less condemned. And so the, the, it's no longer occupied at all. But that's what I've heard. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Just gonna sit there and stare at me, huh? That's what you do. And try and trip me. Right? Lick your lips, yawn. That's it. You gonna take a bite out of me? You hungry? Is that what this is about? You hungry? Huh? Okay. I'll feed you. Okay, so I fed these critters. I brought home a pre-cooked chicken. Cut up some chicken for myself. I'm gonna get myself a, um, a soup. A top rung of soup. So I have plenty of my salts and carbs and all that kind of stuff. And um, Freckles thinks he's getting more, don't you? Nope. That's it. I also have this delicious beer bread that I made today. I don't know if this is supposed to be how it came. It's supposed to come out. It's kind of crumbly. It's pretty tasty though. Uh, on uh, Thursday we'll show you me making it pretty tasty so I'll be adding that to my uh, carbs and my beers okay so we did get a chance to go by and check out the Narconian today and it was surrounded by a penitentiary so we want to get the advice of what it was like from somebody who lived in a penitentiary so dude how do we get in there man do we have to be a zombie horde to get in? He's not talking. Top secret information, I guess. I don't know. But, we hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today and going on our little trip to the penitentiary. We did not get arrested. We did not get thrown into the loony bin. And we did not get taken by the Navy. So, it was a successful trip. Hope you enjoyed making some, or eating some beer bread with Kevin, because we're not going to show you making it until Thursday. And just hanging out with us and the animals today. Hope you give this video a great big thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> I 
our camera is still upside down. It's hard to do. <laughs> if you like this video, hit the little red subscribe button down below if you haven't already subscribed. And show this video with your or, blah, blah, and share this video with your family and friends. Who knows? They may like to go on some adventures with us as well. Bye. Bye.